Kia ora dinosaur fans, it's Antosaurus here and today I thought I'd take you to one of my favourite places on earth to take a picture of this guy at sunset. Let's go! One of the key ingredients for an awesome dino shot is a stunning location. That's why location scouting is so important. Finding a scene that will not only work with the scale of the figurine but also tells an intriguing story. Equally important is to check the lighting conditions and in this situation we need a location with an amazing sunset. We have arrived at my favourite spot with Mr Brachiosaurus here. Now all we're going to do is line him up, get him posed beautifully with the landscape and then we're going to wait for that sun to get lower and lower to that perfect level so we get that beautiful golden colour rippling through the sky for a magical shot. Let's get into it. We want Mr Brachiosaurus to look like he's having a leisurely stroll off into the distant sunset. Once in place, we want to get low, low, low with that camera down to the toys level to help with the scale. Think of it this way, your camera lens is the human eye. Where would your eye be if you were standing there looking at him? Next, we're going to expose our image to retain as much detail as possible. I prefer to underexpose slightly so we can capture all of that beautiful golden sunset colour. I'm excited guys, I think we just captured some amazing snaps of Mr Brachiosaurus here. Now all we've got to do is head back to the edit suite, do some colour grading magic and see what we've got. Alright, here we are in the Antosaurus studio. I've been through all the photos and I think I've found a snap that's really going to work. So let's get down to some grading. Using Adobe's Camera Raw utility, we're going to bring out the natural colours in this image. Let's start by exposing the image. First we'll adjust the highlights to bring more detail and golden colour back into the sky. Secondly, the shadows we're going to bring quite a way up so we can see some detail in Mr Brachiosaurus while still maintaining a moody silhouette feel. Then we're going to play with the contrast and exposure to bring a bit more pop into the mid-tones and lift the overall brightness of the image. Now as a result of pushing the shadows up so high, we will have introduced some noise. So we'll smooth that out with a little bit of noise reduction. But to really bring out the golden colours in this image, we are going to adjust the colour temperature. Now the higher the Kelvin number, the warmer the image becomes. So naturally the yellows will become more yellow and the cooler colours like the blue ocean will become more muted and more dusty feeling. Look at that, the colours are popping so much. In fact, probably a bit too much for my liking. So we're going to reduce the vibrance of the image a bit and boom, just like that, we've got a beautiful cinematic image. Now over to Photoshop for a few touch-ups. When looking at the image, we really want Mr Brachiosaurus and the setting sun to be the central focus. But I feel my eye is being drawn or distracted by this little bit of blue sky over here in the top right. So we're going to remove that by duplicating the image, enlarging it, and with a layer mask and the paintbrush tool, add extra cloud over the blue sky. And we'll just touch it up a little bit with the clone tool. Now if you look closely, there are also a couple of people in the back of shot. Barely noticeable, but we'll jump in there and we'll just quickly clone them out too, so your eye is not drawn to that. Voila! We have our finished piece of art, Mr Brachiosaurus taking a leisurely stroll in the sunset. Dino fans, let me know if you found that video helpful and if you'd like me to create more like that. But in the meantime, get out there and snap them dinosaurs. Yeah!